Hi everyone, my name is Amy. And I'm Mary, and we're some of the interns with Scripture Union this year. We hope you're all keeping well. Now to kick us off, I want to ask you a question. Who are your best friends? I'm sure you probably knew right away. Maybe you have one best friend or you have a group of best friends that you see all the time. Now I'd love you to think about why they are your best friend. Maybe they're funny or kind or caring or maybe they're smart or maybe they are strong or sporty or maybe you like the same movies or games. There are so many ways that we can be a good friend to each other. I wonder what makes them a great friend. My friends are great because they always make me laugh. They send me messages so I know that they're thinking about me. And they're always there to pick up the phone just for a chat. They're always there for me and I can trust them, which is amazing. It's important that we can be a good friend and that we can be there for our friends in the good and even the bad times. I want to be the best friend that I can be, and I'm sure you guys are the same. The Bible tells us lots of amazing things about what it means to be a great friend. There are lots of stories in the Bible about people who were friends. Some were good friends, and some weren't such good friends. But we're going to look at a story today about two very good friends. They were called David and Jonathan. We can read about them in the Bible in the book of 1 Samuel, which is very near the start of the Bible, if you want to have a read with your parents. Now, when David was just a little boy, he had been told that one day he would be king of a place called Israel. Have you heard of Israel? As you can see on the map, it is very far away from little Northern Ireland, and it is much bigger as well. And as David grew up, oh, people knew and they loved him because he had defeated a giant called Goliath and he was a really good soldier. Now, when David was a boy, a man named Saul became king of Israel and he had a son named Jonathan. David and Jonathan became the best of friends and they had a really good friendship. But sometimes it was hard to be really good friends because Jonathan's dad, King Saul, hated David and wanted him killed. King Saul got so jealous of David and was so worried about losing his throne that he set out an order to kill David. Now Jonathan, he could have helped his dad, he could have helped kill David, but he was a good friend and he warned David we even read in the Bible, in 1 Samuel 20, verse 9, If I learn of my father's plans to harm you, I will warn you. Even when things got hard, Jonathan did not tell his dad, King Saul, where David was hiding. He protected David and saved his life. Isn't that just amazing? This is because Jonathan was such a good friend and they trusted each other completely. And we even read in the Bible that Jonathan loved David just as much as he loved himself. Imagine having that kind of love for your friends. David and Jonathan show us what good friendship looks like. Now, we might not have saved our best friend's life or warned them of someone who wanted to kill them. But there's many ways we can still be a good friend to those around us. At the moment, you might not be able to do many things for your friends because we're all staying at home, but we can still help them and still be a friend to them in lots of ways. David and Jonathan would have spent lots and lots of time apart. They maybe couldn't see each other every day, but this didn't mean that they weren't friends anymore. They maybe would have went a month or two months without seeing each other face to face. But they would have written letters or they could have asked people to send each other messages. But most importantly, they would have prayed for each other. They would have found so many ways to show that they were still good friends. 
and that they cared deeply about each other. Now I know at the minute I am missing my friends dearly and I am sure you guys are missing your friends too. But there are still lots of ways that we can be a good friend to each other at this time. My friends and I, we will always text each other or phone each other for hours on end. Or maybe we'll even send each other a card in the post to let each other know that we're thinking about them. And you can do the same. You could maybe write a letter to your friend or you could draw a nice picture or you could send a card just to say hello to your friend and you could send them in the post. Or maybe you could send your friend your favourite book. Maybe you could post your favourite book or maybe your whole friendship group could swap books and then you'll always have something new to read in this time. There are still loads of ways that we can be a good friend to each other, even if we don't see each other in school every day in the playground, or if we can't play with each other in our gardens every day after school. In the Bible, it tells us that a good friend loves all of the time. That means that even when we can't see each other face to face every day, we can still love our friends all of the time. A verse that helps me remember that in the Bible is Proverbs 17, verse 17. Isn't that nice and easy to remember? And it tells us that a friend loves all of the time. Isn't that great? We can love each other all of the time, even when we're miles apart. So I have some actions to help us with that, okay? And I'd love you to join in. So it goes like, a friend loves all all of the time. Okay, that is amazing, isn't it? So we're going to do it a third and final time. And I want you to say it as loud as you can and do the actions with me as well. Okay, one, two, three. A friend loves all of the time. Isn't that just a verse that can help us through this time when we can't see our friends? To finish off, we're going to pray, and you can pray along with me and say Amen at the end if you want to. Dear God, we thank you for all of our friends, and we thank you for all of the things that make them great. Please help us to be the best friends we can by caring for our friends in the good and in the bad times. Help us to love our friends all of the time. Amen.